hello my friend in this video i'm going to teach you how you can create a royal pet portrait in adobe photoshop okay if you want to learn the complete process watch the video till the end before starting the video let's talk about business if you are someone who hiring a artist who can create a royal port portrait you can hire me on fiverr and upwork also you can direct contact me through this email address without wasting any more time let's get start the video okay first open the photoshop and create new document take a for size document otherwise you can choose your custom dimension okay always select 300 resolution and simply create a blank document then simply you have to import your cat image or second you have to import a uh, cloth or body image i will show you for this video i downloaded these two images in the download link of these two images given in the description also you can check comment just simply import in the photoshop rename if you want it's not necessary okay then simply i don't want this face and background so i will simply just remove the moon look select the layer resize and just then simply go to select and select subject photoshop will automatically select the subject you know that okay then click on mask again then take a brush You simply remove extras take your time and remove everything precisely for this video i'm not going to fast forward the video if you want to you can always increase the speed of the video okay after removing the background and face you can simply convert this layer into small object and take a copy for backup okay. then go to pet layer and again do the same process remove head from the background select the layer go to select and click on subject again photoshop will automatically select the subject from the background okay again click on mask for separate separate face from background convert it to smart object okay now time to adjust face and uh, clothes now take a at layer and simply place it behind the cloth layer and adjust 
it according I think I have to increase a little bit of size. That is look good. Okay, good, good. Now remove the extras again. One copy. Add a mask. Take a brush. And just simply remove extras. For adjusting the cloth layer, go to cloth, transform it and wrap. You can do minor adjustment also here. Now it look good. Now we have to add a shadows. So it will look more realistic. Okay, so for adding shadow, add one layer between two layers. Okay. Name it shadow. Take soft round brush. <coughs> Reduce opacity to 25. Reduce flow to 20. Select black color. Clip this layer to a bad face layer, okay? So it will only affect this layer. You can simply go to layer control, sorry, press Alt and click on the layer. It will automatically clip the layer to the bad face in bad face layer. Then simply add the shadow. You can always increase or decrease the brush size. If you think you over did the shadow, you can decrease opacity or fill. Okay, that's not a problem. Simply decrease to seventy percent. Don't worry about these edges. We can fix it later. Okay. No. Fifty percent of work we did completed. Okay. Now just. Select the, all the layers and group it and copy the group. Okay, then simply hide the first group, take it as a backup. Take a first group, convert it to smart object. Okay, again copy 
hide it wake up name it uh, whatever you want i just simply name it zero one because i have no idea what i need to name it so just simply name it anything you want then now let's add make a background for this you can use a ready made background you can download it from google or any other uh, image downloading website just like freepeak or unsplash.com simply go to freepeak.com and search old paper Here, as you can see, there is a lot of old paper available. You can freely download it. I like this one. Just free download. Image is downloaded. Go to file location. and simply import in photoshop resize the image add some color adjustment i would like to add some shadows on border of the paper minus 100 contrast will i would like to increase 20 percent then invert no i don't need to invert again take a brush tool a brush simple round decrease the opacity decrease the flow and simply the difference increase the opacity that's look perfect okay so now just take a copy no no just simply click one layer and with the strip select the last background layer 
take a group name it to final group take a copy you know what to do convert it to smart object we hide the all unnecessary thing we i don't want this simply delete 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 now let's add a camera row filter go to filter camera row filter here's the magic will be here before just click on control a mask convert it to smart object now go to filter camera row filter basic settings increase or decreasing uh explorer okay you can play with the setting you know that i would like to plus 10 contrast again plus 10 I light I light I want 35 shadows I don't want to play with shadows five brightness white minus 15 black texture 55 clarity 10 that's loop i said perfect okay. you can play with the heads okay i would like to 30 for no 20 details you can add some sharpening okay 25 good be the before and after okay now just simply go to file export export error 